she beaming, I be booming down that block. Down that block. Everywhere you go, you know they know I'm hot. What's up? What's going on, my good people? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you all are doing well. If this is your first time here, I want to welcome you. Pull up a seat. Hope you enjoy the content. And before we get into this video, I want to ask that you like, comment, share, subscribe. Go ahead and tap that bell while you're at it so you're notified. Anytime I drop a brand new video, go live or schedule a premiere. All right, y'all. Today, I'm having some Chick-fil-A and I'm trying their brand new item that is on the menu. I am trying the Honey pepper pimento sandwich that's what i got i got that and i also got a side salad got a side salad i wasn't in the mood for fries y'all wanted to keep things simple so we got the sandwich oh, we got a lot going on mm, okay that smells spicy it smells very spicy so it has what is this jalapenos on it got the pimento cheese honey all right. Ooh, can y'all see that? Ooh, the jalapeno is hanging on. All right. Let's go ahead for the first bite. Hmm. Hmm. Hold on, y'all. Let me find some napkins. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back, y'all. Hmm. The few reviews I did see about this were very mixed. I like it. I actually like it a lot. Hmm. It's sweet. The creaminess of the cheese. Because the cheese, let me show you what it looks like, y'all. Can y'all see that? But it tastes like, it, it tastes really creamy. But it works well. Then you have that spice from the jalapeno. It's kind of smoky too. This is really good. I like the balance of flavors. It's good. Hmm. I like it. I would give it an eight. My sandwich was really soggy. So I feel like I would like it even more if it weren't soggy. They have too much of what is this? I don't even know why it's soggy down here because it's not even that much pimento cheese down there. But anyway, it's kind of soggy. So I feel like that's kind of like affecting the overall sandwich itself. But I like the way that it's composed. Good balance of flavor, nice amount of heat. Not overly heat, like not overly hot. So if you're not a big fan of spicy, I feel like you could handle this. Mm -hmm. And I'm a big fan of honey on chicken. I like that. I like that a lot. That's good. That's really good. This is a side salad, y'all. I wasn't in the mood for fries today. Whew. I've been on the go, y'all. It's been a day. I've been up super early. I've been up since like five something. My parents left this morning. So I had to get up super early to take them to the airport. Um, they have already made it back home. So they made it home safely. They did have a layover in Vegas for a little bit. Um, but yeah, they made it back home safely. So I'm happy about that. You know, I was worried about my mom. You know, my mom, um, she has been, you know, having some anxiety because of that experience we had in, in March. But she said it was a smooth flight, that both flights were very smooth. So. I am putting the charred tomato crispy red bell peppers on the salad. I love these. I love their Cobb salad too. That's what I've been getting from um, Chick-fil-A. Yo, I was going to say Red Lobster. That's what I've been getting from Chick-fil-A is their Cobb salad. That's bomb. I love it the way that it is. The only thing I do is in addition to the dressing that it comes with, um, 
I add a little bit of their barbecue sauce too, just to add an extra little punch of flavor and some sweetness. Mmm. Mmm. I've never had their apple cider apple cider dressing before. This is good. I saw that it was in the store the other day. They only had one bottle left. And I was like, you know what? I want to try that dressing. It's good. It's tangy, but not super tangy. Because, you know, apple cider vinegar can be very overwhelming. This is really good. I like it a lot. Mm -hmm. I want to try this now on the Cobb salad. So y'all, I've been gone for a few days, hanging out with my parents. We had an amazing time. I believe I have enough footage to drop a second vlog. I think I do. I don't know y'all, cause I really wasn't recording as much as I thought I would. Cause we were just having so much fun. Um, but we did so much y'all. We did everything that was on the list to do. We did it. We went to the boys to men concert. We went to the WNBA game. We went wine tasting. We went to a comedy show. We saw D.C. Curry, um, Don D.C. Curry. He was incredible. One of the best comedy shows I've ever been to. Uh, we went to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. We went to the NFL Hall of Fame. Uh, we had a cookout at my honey's house. We went to Flavor 91. We saw live music. Y'all saw that. Um, so I released one vlog, but like I said, man, I was so wrapped up and just chilling with my parents that I didn't, re I didn't record a whole lot. I didn't. I'm gonna get my eyebrows done, y'all. I went back to uh, that girl Tika that I went to maybe like three weeks ago. It's time to switch gears. Because Honey and I are going on vacation for her 40th birthday on Thursday. We are going on vacation. For six days i did start packing while my parents were here i started packing so i'm not completely behind or anything like that or i don't feel like pressed um got my eyebrows done today i started packing i have one load of laundry i gotta do i'm going to get my hair done tomorrow this salad is good So yeah, just trying to get things together for vacation, making sure I got everything I need. Mm. I'm ready to lay out on the beach. I'm ready to day drink. <laughs> I'm ready to do all that. We're going to have a good time. Um, our days are not like jam packed or anything like that. I'm sorry, I'm sweating. It's hot outside, y'all. So my face, I'm sweating. Um, our days aren't jam packed. Did I say where we go? We're going to Miami. We're going to Miami. It's my second time going to Miami. Um, I haven't been since 2011. Honey's first time going. Um, but yeah, our days aren't jam packed, which is good. I have, we have a lot of options. You know, we're going to play it by ear. On uh, Saturday, I have reservations for it to do some stuff. Um, and then also on Sunday, which is her actual birthday on the 10th, I have dinner plans. So we have two things planned for sure. And then a bunch of options that we can kind of like look at and see how we feel. You know, see what we want to get into based on how we feel. And what's funny is that when I went to Miami in 2011... I didn't feel like I needed to go back. Like I really wasn't, the food was okay. The overall vibe was just okay. You know, I was out there for Sweet Heat. 
uh, which is like a like a Pride weekend, and a lot of the the events and stuff were oversold. They were oversold. You know, what I'm saying like we were standing outside for a long time, couldn't get in. It was just a lot going on, and I feel like, you know, that I really kind of stuck it to Miami. Like I'm good. I ain't got to come back. You know what I'm saying? But I do want to go back. When she said that she wanted to go to Miami for the first time for her birthday, I'm like, you know what? Let's go. Because I'm a lot, I'm, you know, I'm older now. Her and I always have a good time wherever we go. And I think it's going to be a much better experience. You know what I'm saying? We find the fun wherever we go. So. Y'all, my window is down. Like I said, it's hot. It is hot. So if you've been thinking about trying this sandwich, I would say go for it. I give it an eight. I'm assuming it's on the menu for a limited time. I will order it again. Um, I might even give it a higher rating. If I ordered it again and my bottom bun wasn't so soggy, that honey and the jalapeno was hitting. But the pimento cheese is too. Like it, it works. It does. Um, I know sometimes that you know when you watch people rate and review different things, our taste buds are different. And also, we're all eating from different locations. So, some may put too much honey. Some may not put enough honey, you know. So, we're all going to probably feel differently about it. Um, and I think that that's why it's always best to just try something for yourself. You know, you'd be surprised. Like, I was pleasantly surprised when I took that first bite. I was not expecting it to taste like that. And, like, the heat, it kind of sits with you a little bit. But it's not overwhelming. It's not, a, it's not a lot. It's really, it's not. I would say the heat is like a three three or four but it's not a lot all right y'all i'm all done with the food so i'm about to go ahead and get into a topic real quick but before i do i just wanted to say i appreciate y'all hitting me up like it really means a lot that y'all take time out and that you hit me up and that you value my opinion um and that you're open to receiving my opinion my perspective and advice um and also open to my opinion as well as the gp fam because the gp fam does not hold back in the comments and i love that and i want that to keep on happening so um if you have a topic a question a situation that you're going through and you want it to be addressed here on the channel hit me up at ronda's real talk at gmail.com or send me a dm on instagram at ronda's real talk all right so I got a DM on Instagram and this woman wanted to remain anonymous. She's in her late thirties. Um, she's a black woman that is relative to the topic. She's a black woman who has only dated black men. She's never been married before. She's never been engaged. She's had some serious relationships before. She is currently single, like dating around. And so her, the dilemma, the dilemma that she's in is that she, she wants to date outside of her race. This is the first time she's felt like she's wanted to do that and consider it. But she's really like wrapped up and concerned with other people's opinions about that. So we're talking about society in general, her friends, her family, coworker, all that stuff, right? It's something that she wants to consider. And she was just like asking my opinion about it. So if you have dated outside of your race, by all means, please go ahead and speak on your experience. So here's what I think about that. I think that when you are dating, your preferences and things that you're open to and what you're looking for change. It changed. Like what you wanted last year may not be what you want this year. You know, that's just based on your experiences. You know, you may want somebody who's local or somebody who's long distance. You may, your age range might change. You know, maybe you have a five year window and you want to expand it to a 10 year window, right? To give yourself more people to choose from. It's a lot of things and preferences that we have, right? So that's constantly going to change. And race is one of those things that can change. 
Um, my advice is to 100% go for it. I say go for it. Try something different. If it's on your mind and on your heart, it's something that you really want to consider. And why not? You know, what's the worst thing that could happen? What is the worst thing that could happen? That you end up finding your person? That is a real possibility by opening yourself up to something that is completely outside of your comfort zone. Which is, there's nothing wrong with that. There's a lot of good things on the other side of doing that. Um, and I wanted to say this. You're concerned about your family, your friends, and all that kind of stuff. You can't control society. And people are going to talk no matter what. They're going to talk no matter what. You know, but you're not dating your friends. You're not dating your family. And I'll say this. If, you're fa if your friends and family can't respect the decisions that you're making for yourself, then that's a whole other conversation and things and something else that has to be evaluated and maybe some boundaries and changes that got to be made based on that. That's what I think. Um, and I'll say this, you know, I know a lot comes along with dating outside of your race, especially if it's your first time doing it. Um, you know, I've never dated outside of my race. I have friends and family that have, you know, so I've been around it. I've seen the things that can come along with it. You know, I've seen some complications. I've seen people break up because of it as well. But that doesn't mean that you shouldn't be open to it, you know. And I want to say this, that, you know, connection transcends beyond race. Um, and another question I had, too, was like, when you say, like, you know, the struggles of dating outside of your race, I'm really curious if the even bigger question is, like, just dating somebody who's white. You know, there are different, there's a lot of tension that kind of comes along with that because of obviously the past between black and white people. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like that, that keeps a lot of people from being open to dating, you know, a white person, a black person dating a white person. But I even feel like you shouldn't let the past keep you from being open to that too. You know what I'm saying? Um, so yeah, I mean, I think you should go for it. I say, go for it, try it out. You know, you've had your experiences up until this point and this has now come across your mind you've been thinking about it like i want to date outside of my race i say go for it i mean and so many things exist outside of black and white in terms of like culture and stuff like that like there's so many options available to you so do it try it you know like i think you're gonna be pleasantly surprised honestly you know you have a chance to be exposed to new things you know new places all kind of stuff can come along with it so try it and again you might even be overthinking how your family and friends will respond you know so yeah, I think you should go for it. I say try it. Um, I know there's a lot of content, a lot of like TikTok channel or TikTok, TikTok pages, YouTube channels, even IG pages or whatever of interracial couples that share their experience. Like their content is centered around, you know, them having a blended family and combining and overcoming certain challenges. I've seen this. This stuff has been in my feed. So I'm just saying like maybe even watching and seeing people's experiences, maybe that might even help you get past and get through you know, your struggles and your, like you overthinking all of this, you know what I'm saying? Cause again, you, your person might be on the other side of this. So I'll say, go for it. I think you should do it. And if you remember, please give us an update. I would love to let the GP fam know, um, how things worked out for you, you know, and I wish you the absolute best in finding love. You seem very open, um, up until this point and, and you know, what's worked has worked or not worked until this point. And now you want to introduce something different and different is not a bad thing at all. It's not, I don't think that there's anything wrong with it at all. And this is coming from somebody who's never dated outside of my race. I don't see anything wrong with it at all. You know? So, um, y'all it's hot as hell. Y'all see me sweating. I got more errands to run. Y'all meet me in the comments. Um, give her some advice talk about your own personal experiences what worked what didn't because there might be somebody with some horrible that had a horrible experience dating outside of their race again i've experienced that too with inside of my family um people married other people outside of their race and things went left things came up things were said so yeah you have to consider a lot i feel like when you date outside of your race i mean you got to consider a lot even when you date inside your race shit it's it's you ask the right questions make sure you're paying attention to the things that are being said and actions that's important you know um that's important yeah so that's it y'all i'm about to turn this car on turn this air on all the way up um i hope y'all enjoyed the video if you did please be sure to give it a big thumbs up let me know if y'all tried that sandwich at chick-fil-a as well let me know your thoughts on it all right i will meet y'all in the comments make the best of the day y'all be good to yourself peace i be beaming i be booming down that